Hello, my name is Ruben and I work at the Bay Area Discovery Museum. At the museum, we love to think about engineering and what it means to be an engineer. And engineers also love to solve everyday problems and I definitely have a problem that I need help solving today. So, would you like to be an engineer with me and help me solve it? Awesome. So like I said, engineers love fixing problems and the problem is that I am trying to get these animals safely across the water without them falling into the water, obviously. And so that means that I will have to design something that floats. Now that we've identified our problem, let's take some time to think about how we can fix it. What will you decide to make in order to help something get safely across the water? Ultimately, you can decide to build any kind of structure you want that will be able to float. I chose to make a raft because it's a very basic boat that doesn't require an engine, and it's also used to transport objects, people, and hey, even animals. And now that we have an idea of what we want to make, it's time to go out and look around our surroundings and think of what kind of materials we can use to help build our design. Feel free to pause the video while you go on your material hunt and press play when you get back. Are you back? Perfect. So I'm sure you were able to find some pretty cool things to help you build your design. Um, let me show you what I found around my surroundings that I think will help me make mine. So as you can see, I found some natural materials like leaves and sticks, I have some aluminum foil, corks, tape, and scissors. And for the water, I just used a big bowl, but you can maybe use some Tupperware, a sink, or the bathtub, or anywhere else that comes to your mind. And of course, you can use any other kinds of materials that you think will work well for your design and that you can easily find nearby. So, are you ready to get building? Perfect. So go right ahead and get started if you like. And if you need any help building your design, you can ask another friend to help you if you have one there. Or you can even ask an adult nearby to assist you as well. Have fun and I'll be right here when you finish, okay? So was it fun making your designs? Because I sure had fun making mine. Now when it comes to engineering, it's super important that we test out our designs to see if it actually works the way that we want them to. And while you were gone, I tested out my first raft and saw that it didn't work out that great. All right, and so you can see that I used some sticks, I used foil, and I also used tape to tape the sticks together. All right, and then let's see how it works in the water. So it's floating. But once I put the animal on top, it eventually sinks. So that design needed some work. So I decided to go back and think of another design that I can make that will work instead and came up with this. So this one has corks instead of foil. It has tape, four sticks holding up two leaves. All right. So how do you think this is going to hold up in the water? Let's see. Put this down. All right. It's floating. But let's see if the animal can stand it. Oh, and it does! <laughs> it works! As it turns out, the foil from my first design wasn't able to float in the water that well once I placed the elephant on top of it. But by using corks and leaves and sticks instead in my second design, it was able to float and carry the animal. I wonder what happened to your designs when you tested them out. Remember, if your design doesn't work out the first time, you can always go back to the first step and think about all the many different ways you can make your design stronger and better than before and try again. Oh, so I hope you all had so much fun playing with me today and helping me solve this problem. Now, I wonder what kind of other engineering problems you could possibly solve around your area. Until next time, goodbye.